All right, time for the super mags. We got three of my tens here. The 835. We have a uh, black flies. Appreciate that. That was. Did you get rid of them? I believe so. Nice. If he ain't dead, he's really mad. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that made me jump a little bit. Anyway, uh, we got some two and three quarter ounce loads for the 12 gauge and three ounce loads for the 10 gauge. Two turkey loads, one for the 12, one for the 10. Uh, they're both number six shot, a mix of uh, unplated lead, copper plated, and nickel plated. They are buffered. Uh, and one thing to mention, yes, we did already film this video, but I accidentally deleted it, so this is a complete refilm. So, the original video, we got really good results. We were at 30 yards. Really good results, especially with the turkey loads. You guys will see that. Fingers crossed that all the patterns are just as good as they were the first time we shot this video. Alrighty guys, we're going to st start this uh, Super Mag Fest with a 3.5 inch 12 gauge. It's 42 grains of Little Gun X12X gas seal with a quarter inch fiber cushion wad. 15 pellets of double op buck. 9 pellets of number 1 buck to make weight without being overweight. Which leads me to, this is 2 and 3 quarter ounces. Yeah. And it's mix number 47 buffer, roll crimped. Out of this 835 with a Kix 680 choke. Yep. And cobwebs. Goblin Anyways, thunder. We're going to be stretching it roughly 30 yards today down there. I guess without further ado, these holes are a little long where they roll crimped. Yeah, too long for the action. Yeah. But without further ado, I guess let's let's hurt my shoulder. Oh yeah, these kick bad. Yeah. Way worse like than a two ounce load. Dead center of that black line there, and we'll see what it does. You ready? Yep. Well, not bad. I gotta get out of the sun. There we go. So, if it would focus, will you tap the screen on the on the hall for me? And <laughs> there we go. No pressure signs whatsoever. Hall's ripped right here. Not ripped, but Creased. wrinkled a little bit from the pellets coming out. But that's what happens with uh, magnum loads and uh, no mylar wrap. All in all, 24 pellets, it was, what was it? 15 pellets of double lot and 9 pellets of number 1. All right. 29 caliber, number 1. Right. Anyways, out of 24 pellets, we've got, at 30 yards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If I had to guess anyways, by looking at the pattern, I'd say the rest might have strung off. 21. Oh. That looks like a double to me. What about you? Um, well, let's do this. No, no it's just single. That's a single. Anyways, 21 of, you know, 24 pellets, 30 yards. I mean, it's not, not horrible, I don't reckon. It I is conventionally loaded. Yeah, conventionally loaded. Those other three probably went off over here. That's what I, like, that's what I figured. Judging by that, you know, I'd say they've went off. Yep, you can't blame him for pulling that shot. That Their recoil is bad. I think we calculated it to like 85 foot-pounds of felt recoil out of a seven and a half pound gun. Yeah, it's bad. Like I said, way, way worse than a two or a two and a quarter ounce load. Yeah, hot threes have nothing. That's that's top tier for that thing. Yeah. <laughs> you could almost camber it with a monster can. Mm -hmm. This monster just so happens to be the ultra watermelon. Sure do like them. Uh, you want to measure that pattern? I guess we forgot to do that too. Yeah. That's almost in a perfect circle if you don't count that one fire down here. Yeah, let's see here. You want to test the strings or? Sure. It looks to be about a foot by 16 inches. Yeah, that's from that one there to that's 15 inches on that okay. line. From that one to that one, 15. So 15 by 15 and roughly. one flyer and who knows because those went off the uh, edge of the board, but I like it. Yep. Okay, my turn. Uh, we have a 24 pellet double lot buck load, 45 grains of little gun, X10X, quarter inch, fiber cushion mud, the pellets, again it's 24 pellets of double lot, and number 47 buffer. Don't, I, I did not do that. <laughs> I thought it had the side ejection. I know. 
It's all right. I've done it a dozen times myself. You ready? Yep. I think I pulled it too. Maybe. All right though. All looks good. Yep. If it's in focus, I don't know if it is or not. It looks pretty good. Nice. There's one little tear in that roll crimp. But... Not as tight as the 835. I obviously shot a little bit high. So let's count the pellets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, if I ain't missing any. That's all, 17 and 24. Uh, I guess the others went above it, but what can you do? I pulled it. Try to measure it right here. 34 by 11. It's a vertical pattern. Is it vertical? Horizontal. Horizontal, yeah. It's like the horizon. Anyways. Still sorry. not bad. No. Like this group right here is within a 10 inch circle. That's pretty good. Yeah. After going from shooting nothing to first round you shoot being a three ounce 10 gauge right. of the day. That was the first shot I fired today was a three ounce 10 gauge. So don't uh don't criticize me too hard. Yep. We've got here, well actually I want to start off by saying we're using the single shot instead of the BPS for this one. The BPS has a 690 constriction choke which with these quad bucks, there's the possibility for them to bridge and you really don't want that. So we've went to this one, it's just got a standard full. It'll be perfectly fine, but the load is 45 grains of little gun, X10X gas seal with an eighth inch fiber cushion wad and 16 pellet of quad buck. Yep. Still at 30 yards. I'm gonna try to take my time and not pull this shot. And next number 47. So start making fun of me if I continue to shoot bad. So. Take my time. That's center of the board. Yes, yeah, sure is. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I just kind of get anxious. Hey, that one didn't tear the hole up. Uh -uh. Oh, I didn't have it in frame. Looks like you need to clean it a little bit. Yeah, I do. A little bit of rest in that one. It's all right, though. No pressure signs whatsoever. I'm going to actually just turn this on and walk down there. All right, I'm going to set this over and I'll be there. All right. Guys, sorry for the shaky camera. I'm on gravel and cowboy boots. Can you guys see the pattern? Just walk through Briars. I can see it. It's really good. Well, that's pretty good. Alrighty guys, maybe there's something to that, you know, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and then shoot. I don't know. Anyways, I took my time on that one. I don't feel like I pulled it really. No. But for 30 yards, that was 16 pellets of quad buck. So let's see how many we got and then we'll measure the pattern. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that's where the wad struck. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Awesome, all 16. 16. And we're going to exclude these two flyers over here anyways. We've got right at 16 by 13, 13 and a half maybe. Awesome. Now with those two flyers, it probably opens up to uh Oh yeah, even if you want to run it over to the two flyers, like uh, straight across anyways, it's only 20 by 13. Still, like that's, that's a small pattern. For 30 yards. That's awful big pellets too. <laughs> yeah, those pellets are huge. They carry a lot of energy. Yep. Okay, so for this one right here, the only choke I have for this gun, or he has, since it says it's his house, kicks GT680, and this is quad buck. We're just gonna do it because that's the only option we have. So 15 pellets of quad buck and one pellet of number one buck just to make weight. Uh, 42 grains of little gun, X12X, quarter inch fiber cushion wad and uh, number 47 buffer roll crimp with the bingo chip 30 yards these holes are too long for the action so I'm putting it in the pop by hand 
Take your time. What? Take your time. Get my hair and beard out of the way. Pray for my shoulder. Awesome. Now this hole I expect to be ripped up. Them uh, pellets barely fit in there. Yep. Ripped, but no pressure signs. Well, you ain't even got no 835 mark. Now here's one, uh, I should mention this, 31 grains of long shot is a good bit away from the max charge for a two ounce load or two and a quarter ounce load and that gives us pressure signs. And that don't, that's a lot hotter of a load too. Good gun. Yeah. It's on the cheaper spectrum, but I'll tell you what, them things are built like a tank. I wouldn't call 500 bucks cheap, but. Well, I mean, compared to three, some. Three and a half inch 12 gauge. I mean, it's not cheap when you're buying Maverick 88, I suppose, but out of that lineup laying right over there, it is a cheap shotgun. So, 30 yards. We got us a really good pattern out of that. Uh, guys, I really like quad buck. Like I mentioned earlier, those pellets carry a ton of energy. So, I'll measure it, then count them. I'm gonna go farthest to farthest, and then measure the cord. Farthest to farthest is 36 inches. Hey, that's the length of my uh, H&R's barrel. Yeah. Uh, by 25. No, let's measure just the cord here. 10 by nine. That's a really tiny pattern. Yeah. Like I can cover it with my hand, aside from that pellet right there. That chuck might be a little tight for them. Yeah, but it patterns beautifully though. Oh, it does, yeah. All right, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, I think I missed one right here, I think. I ain't for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it looks like we just had one bad yeah. flyer. It probably went off with this one right there. Yeah. It probably went off the paper with it. The 15 to 16 is really good. Yeah. Those um, all look like a uh, quad buck holes too. There's not that one number one buck in there anywhere. That sucker just went flinging off into the woods somewhere, I'd say. He's right there. I don't see a number one buck pellet hole in there. Alrighty guys, I'm back on the 12 just so one person ain't eating all the abuse from it. And honestly, I really like it. Maybe I'm just glutton for punishment. But what we've got here is 42 grains of little gun, X12X gas seal with a quarter inch fiber cushion wad, 28 pellets of uh, number one buck, mix number 47 buffer, the roll crimp, still at 30 yards, same choke and everything, Kicks GT 680. But I'm gonna take my time and try to hold dead center and true and not drop the gun or sling it at you, I reckon. Ready? Yep. Alrighty, guys. Uh, shoulders <laughs> a little sore, like but. Huh? Huh? Oh, I said those rounds sound like thunder. Yeah. Shoulders a fuzz sore than it was a minute ago, but that's all right. Hall looks good. I don't know if it's focused or not. It but is. No pressure signs. Nope. Crimp looks good. Can you see inside of that thing right there? Um. Uh, Right there, yeah, that line. Yeah. yeah, that's where the buckshot are pushing out that plastic, making it thin. If you go squish it, that's where it creases at now. Yeah, they can still be loaded once. Yeah, I've got one over here. I might show on video that I loaded like that just to see right. a once fire. Right, let's walk down here and check out this pattern. I'm gonna keep it rolling again. All right, I'm gonna set this down. I'll be down. Guys, honestly, shooting these is pretty fun. Looks like an angry swarm of bees again. It also looks like it's in two different groups. So that one's opened up a little bit, but you know, that happens. Yeah, that was what, 28 pelts number yeah. one? See that video we filmed a couple days ago, that load performed really well. So yeah. that just goes to show you, back-to-back -back loads, identical loads, 
One may pattern really well, the other not so much. No. Why are we still got all all pellets though? Uh, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23 23 yeah we lost a few 23 or 28 but it's not so bad this group right here i can cover it with my hand yeah the rest of them's pretty scattered but you know we'll we're not hiding nothing from you guys all right all right i'm on the 10 again we have 45 grains of little gun x10x quarter inch fiber cushion wad 30 pellets number one buck and mix number 47 buffer brand new federal hull from mid 2000s indian creek six uh 690 constriction choke all right you ready yep that one looks stout yep i wasn't holding the gun to my shoulder what i was doing well, I was, but I didn't have any, uh, I wasn't gripping the gun at all. Right. Took my time with that one. Here's the hull. It looks fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. Didn't even rip it up. Mm -mm. So the pattern, you know, it's all right. Obviously, I shot high right. Uh, a few flyers. Core of the group is really good. It's right here. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now for the core, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, oh, 24, 25. Yeah. We only got three misses. I didn't even see these right here. Looks like there's two of them right there. Be like right at my fingertip here anyways. One there. And one there looks new. You see an extra pellet, you said? No, you said you was missing three? Yeah. I said I, I was pointing up on the tree there anyways. I said there's one right there and one right there that wasn't there last shot. Right. Skin marks on the tree like where it hit the tree. So, I guess I got three misses. And what he said is a barely. So, where's the tape measure? Right here. I'm only going to measure the core. That's all that really matters right here. We got 13 by, this one right here, 13 by 14 is the core, and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 pellets in the core, guys. That's awesome. That's all you need. That's more than you need. Yeah. On the next. All right. Uh, that was a 30 pellet load, not 28. I had five off the paper, not three. Just wanted to clear that up. All right, I'm on the 12 again. We got 42 grains of Little Gun X12X, quarter inch fiber cushion wide, 21 pellets of double lot, and two pellets of number four buck, again, just to make weight, so we aren't overweight also with more double lot. Number 47 buffer, bingo chip, roll crimp. Ready when you are, senor. Pulling a U right here, slowly raise it up. That felt nice. I'd say so. It always amazes me how you can see the trail of buffer through the air. Yeah, especially in the sunlight. That one didn't tear it up either. The hull looks great. It does. Primer looks good on it. Brass looks great. Still smoking. I'm not gonna inhale it this time like I did in one of the other videos. <sighs> That's, that tastes terrible. Yes, <laughs> it really does. Rolling, we walk down here. Yeah, I'm we'll keep walking. Maybe spin a circle as I walk. Yeah, quite a beautiful side up here. Now it's yeah. ugly. Now it's beautiful again. Yeah. I like this second range we have. Huh? I like this second range we have. Yeah, we won't be able to use it forever, but. No, not forever, but we could stretch it to 100 yards if we wanted to. Yeah. Oh, honestly, guys, this is right up the, right up in the hill from a, 
where we usually shoot at. This is my uncle's place. He's getting it, he has it dozed out for the house seat and stuff, but temporarily. Yeah, that's a good pattern. That is, that's a really good pattern. <laughs> Measure it first, then count them. Sure. Widest to widest is 20 inches. And it looks like we have 31. <laughs> so, what was it again? I forgot. You guys know, you saw it. I, I done forgot, but uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, um, Warmer pair. 23. Where's it at? It's, you just pointed at it. Oh, 23. And I probably missed one, or maybe it went off. I don't know. I didn't see that one, but I'm not going to remeasure it. You guys get the idea of the pattern. It's really good. And I also don't see the number four bucktail it. No? But that's an awesome pattern. Hunt with it all day. Yep. Okay, so uh, that was a 23 pellet load, and I counted 23 pellets. I was thinking uh, um, it was more than that, but it's not. And I also found the number one, number four buck hole. It's right here. It's really tiny. See the difference? Yeah. It's so, a little buck hole. All, pe <laughs> all pellets are on target. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Last but not least for this segment of a uh, 12 gauge versus 10 gauge with super mags we've got 45 grains of little gun x10x gas seal quarter inch fiber cushion wad a whopping 62 angry little pellets of number four buck with mixed number 47 buffer in a roll crimp bingo chip overshot it's a lot of pellets yeah it's a lot of pellets we're not patching them yep. that's the reason why we chose to shoot this one last because i don't want to have to patch 60 some holes <laughs> But I'm gonna take the time. I'm gonna try to hold this left hand section here. I'm gonna try to hold center a bit. There's not very many pellet holes in it. And we'll we'll see what it does. Skip a little bit here. It didn't blow a hole through the paper like I thought it would. Uh I don't know if that was it or I don't know, but I digress. The hall ain't destroyed. Usually, number four rips them up. That uh, the same thing happened to us in the last video that we thought the number four buck would shred the hull, but it didn't. Yeah, that's cool. That was a lot of pellets. It was a lot of pellets. We'll go ahead and walk down there. Yeah, we can toss this hull over here. I missed. Throw this gun over here. Literally, just throw it. <laughs> okay. No. Well, I said I was going to aim to the left, but it looks like I aimed to the high. <laughs> to the high? Well, I see some high, I see some low. There's some here, some there. Out of 60 sub pellets, a lot of them are up here in the tree. I just about fell. Look, that's one went through your monster can. That's cool. Thanks, monster. You protected my tree. <laughs> I'm pretty sure ripped right through that can. Um, I'm optimistic, buddy. Me too. Well, Sometimes. that one was not so great. Yeah. I don't really know if there's a point in counting them. There ain't. Right. We got three down here, though. One over here, one there. It's like they're flying kind of in groups of three. There's three. There's three. There was three. Yeah. They're just flying in clumps See, of three. If it wasn't uh, high and right, it looks like the pattern... Would have been really good. Um, we'll have to do another one. Yeah. Yeah, well. See, there's a, there's a whole circle of pellets right here. Did it, did it get your tree? I see you. It got your tree. Yeah. It's all right, though. Once again, thanks, monster. <laughs> not a sponsor? Not at all. Maybe. Hopefully. They won't. Probably not. Oh, well. Alrighty guys, let me zoom in on it here. I don't know if you got them everywhere else, but that's like one of the most rarest plant species you ever see. It's, well. It Rare, looks... you say? Huh? Rare, you say? Yeah. I don't like it. Well, guys, um, it's it's a little less rare now. It's, it's kind lost of extinct, its I guess. Oh well. All right, time for a turkey load. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mention that with the one we fired the other day, 
I have never seen a turkey load this good in my life. It beat every TSS, TSS load I've ever seen. It beat the Longbeard XRs. Uh, you, you'll see, hopefully, if this load does what that one did, you guys will be impressed, trust me. But Remington Nacho Steel Hull, 45 grains of little gun, TPS wad, no fiber cushion, uh, a mix of plated and unplated number six shot, mixed number 47 buffer, roll crimp with the bingo chip, and yes, that rhymes. My beard out of the way. Awesome. Let's walk down here after you show the hole. Oh, failed to mention Winchester 209 is still smoking too. A hull that's been reloaded half a dozen times. A million times. Look at the look at the brass. You can tell it's been reloaded a bunch of times. Yep. And the uh, charred crimp mouth. But. Mouth. But no pressure signs. Yeah. Let's walk down there. Yep. Yeah. That one actually landed with the rest of the spit holes. I see that. Fingers crossed that one's just as good as the other one was. Hopefully. Felt like it was a good thinner shot. I've seen it smack the left side pretty good. Did it? All right, I'm starting to be able to see the pattern a little better. It's uh, yeah, it's still pretty good. It's it's uh, well, it's not as tight as the ones from the other day. But I'm but gonna, tell me that now. ain't impressive. Do me a favor. Yep. Right up that black line right there. Stick a tape measure. Hold the gun, please. That way they can kind of have a little bit of a reference, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, keep in mind, this was a 30-yard shot, basically three-ounce load. We have 20 inches. By, I'm going to guess 20 inches again. The other one was 20 by 20. Twenty by twenty-two. Basically the same. But uh, if he zooms in a little bit here. You guys can see the amazing density. There are no patches in that. You can't ask for a better turkey load. If you can put up with the recoil, I'd say this load is worth it. Because this is an 80 yard, 80 yard shot all day long. Not that I would take a turkey at 80. That's a bit, you know, ridiculous. But this, though, is this load. It's a bit ridiculous, too. Yeah. I like it. Me, too. Let's see if the 12 can do just as well. Yeah. I'm gonna try to put mine right down there in that clear spot. Uh you know you don't wanna put any paper up. So what we done here what he did I should say is uh we he taped up the uh most of the pellets over here and I tore off a chunk of paper down here and stuck it up. There's still a few pellets over here, but we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to send the uh, 12 gauges load now. Yeah. Honestly, guys, this is just wrapping paper. Yeah. It works great, but we left the roll at the house. Like, well, the other roll anyways. That was all that was on this one. Yeah. We uh, thought we had enough paper, but I guess not. Yeah, well. All right, guys, we're on the 12 gauge turkey load. It's 42 grains of little gun, a super mini wad, two and three quarter ounce uh, shot, which is number six. Mix number 47 buffer. When he loads these, he leaves the shot like 0 .1, 0 0.2 off and buffers it to weight. That way he's not overweight with the buffer. Something to think about. Yeah. I'm gonna hold dead center and see what kind of pattern I can't make with this monstrosity of a round. Wish me luck. Safety. <laughs> I hate that. I Howdy really too. hate that. Thunder. All looks great. Yep. No pressure sign skin. Guys, these loads are totally viable. Hate safety. I hate safeties too. I mean, they're, they're, they're a safe thing to have. Yeah, they are. But I'm not used to it. You know, we're used to just shoot one, rack it out. Like I always say, safety third. Well, I pulled the shot. Imagine that. I think. Yeah. I, I don't see it at all right now. Too far away. I can see it, but it's I still went impressive. Low and right. 
it's still impressive. Yeah. No patches mm -hmm. at all. I think the overall group, you see it starts to thin out over here. I think the overall size of the pattern is just as well as the tens. Yeah, I was aiming like right here and as you can see, it kind of uh, went over there a little bit. Yeah. I think, well, I might have flinched a little bit on the safety pull and then rushed it on the second. But. Yeah, uh, you want to measure it or? Yeah, we can. Right, it's right here. Where you reckon from? Right here somewhere? Yeah. From right there to where they start getting real skinny anyways, it's 25 by, we'll start, and it's right there, the edge of the paper anyways, 25 by 22 and a half, 23, something like that. So yeah, right on par with the 10. Now if the density isn't as great as the 10s was, which quarter is ounce the less exact, shot. What? There's a quarter ounce less shot between them too. Yeah, you're, that's right. The quarter ounce less shot. Also, uh, you know what, I'll throw in the two pictures of the patterns that we shot the other day. They were a lot more impressive than this. Um, but still, guys, that beats any factory turkey load you can get. Yep. Hey, quick quick tip for you. Are we done? Yeah. Got, the, got a good picture of the pattern? Yeah. All right. I'll show you how, how you clean up when you're done, especially using this wrapping paper. Yeah. It's the easiest way ever. That way you don't leave trash on the range and whatnot. Just... It just rained here yesterday, by the way. You ain't, yeah, everything's everything's wet. green. You don't have to worry about that. But it'll clean itself up and ripping it down would have been faster. But this is way cooler. Yeah, look at that. It's burning like the outside inside layer of it. Just enjoying a fire with our friends on YouTube now, Josh. Yeah. That gives me an idea. Sit around the fire and just talk. Maybe like a podcast style thing. Yeah, you guys want to do some, want us to do some podcasts? Just sit around and talk about different loads and shenanigans we've got into. Maybe pick an instrument or two. Yeah. We've known each other basically our whole lives. Started off beating the crap out of each other with ball bats. And now we're best friends. Something along them lines. Yeah. Quick thought here. How many of y'all ever seen a burn up snowman? <laughs> <laughs> burn toasty. up, shot up, but yet he's still there. Must no be longer old frosty the snowman. He's toasty the snowman. That's right. That's pretty cool though. That's just the ashes from it. Whereas, like I said, it's wrapping paper. Yep. It's got a pellet right in his face. Yeah, shot and burned the snowman today. <laughs> All right. We're going to try to chop off a uh, piece of that wood off the tree. Piece of the board. I've got an ounce and a half of... Uh, BBs, steel shot, 29 grains of long shot, TPS wide. I'm just gonna try to blow it off. Awesome. This is the H&R uh, slug gun, 28 inch barrel, rifle sights, 10 gauge of course. This one is 32 grains of long shot, TPS wide, half inch fiber cushion wide. 16 pellets of double lot bug and the ITX buffer. Hit it dead center where that green piece is on it, bud, and it'll come off a tree. Are you sure? Yeah. It didn't come off, but my God, that group is tight. That's ridiculous. Ow, briars. That was almost a bad spot for briars. Yeah. I meant to bring a lot more 10 gauge loads with me. Steel shot, but I left the bag at the house. So, you know what? Oh well. You want to take a few shots at it with a 12 gauge? Yeah, maybe. Number four buck. Yep. It's a double A load. Still, it's an ounce and eighth of number four buck. 20 gra 20.9 grains of double A super handicap. Uh, some kind of. Didn't knock it off the tree, but I see pellets. Yeah. 
go ahead and hide that little thing down there. Hall looks good, crimp looks good. Oh, I'm still way zoomed in, my bad. I forgot to show it on camera. Oh yeah, it was a smiley face. I had that inside of inside of the hull with the load road on the bottom of it. Yeah, it was it was around the wad. It looked like the uh, it's like hull the, had a smiley face on it. It's like the I I can stick it down here, and kind of show you anyways. It's not clear now, but I put it around my wad anyways when I loaded it, just because you know, ounce and eighth number four buck running twelve fifty. Oh, well, you can't see it very well, but smiley ain't so smiley no more. No, whatever it hit wasn't laughing neither like it was. <laughs> yeah, it will. All right, we're back down here at his house now. Like I mentioned earlier, we already filmed this video. Had a good time making it. A lot of funny moments in it. Wish you guys could have seen it. But I accidentally deleted it, and we had to refilm it. And uh, I won't lie, the patterns we got in the first video we filmed um, were a lot better than the ones in this video but we may have been a little bit farther away than 30 yards today we know for sure up at the, our normal range we shoot at 30 yards um but up there on the hill it's hard to judge the distance because we're on open flat ground up there so could have been a little bit farther away or it could have just been you know like i was also said earlier one load of identical loads two of them one may pattern awesome and the other may pattern a little bit you know worse none of them that we fired today were bad they were all pretty good one of them i think it was out of the 835 i think it was it could have been better um it spread out a little bit we pulled a couple shots but that happens you know we're human i also should say load these at your own risk these loads are stepping into the uh, territory of the mostly unknown. Uh, loading three ounces and two and three quarter ounces in a shotgun shell is pretty much unheard of. And, uh, I don't know anyone else that does it aside from two or three other people. And uh, also, make sure your shoulder can handle the abuse. That 12 gauge is rough. Uh, all the loads out of both guns are 1200 FPS, but the 10 gauge is three ounces, as you guys know. Even though it's a heavier load at the same velocity, the 12 gauge kicks harder because it's, of course, a lighter weight shotgun. So, yeah. Well, we're going to thank you guys for watching. Please leave us a comment, like the video. We really appreciate that. Subscribe. We also greatly appreciate that. Um,. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.